I'm going to show you the different types of fruit trees I have on my property. I have a little over one acre of land and I'm going to show you I have 18 different fruit trees. Okay, so right here I have a Stella tree, a cherry Stella. They're real red and real big uh, cherries. So this is about how, as big as they get. Pretty tasty, pretty sweet. I have one other cherry tree that's a little sweeter than this, but these are really good. And Cherry Stella, the, this particular one, I think it's a, a dwarf cherry, so it gets to around 50, 10 to 15 feet tall. You can see it already, it's been, it's about three years old, and it's already about, I don't know, 12 feet tall, 10, 10 to 12 feet tall. Okay, here's another cherry tree that I planted. This one's called a Cherry North Star cherry tree and it's uh, fairly new I planted it I believe last summer even though it's a fairly new tree it's already loaded and I already picked a bunch of them you can see how many I picked a whole thing of them other than these these are a different cherry but you can see North Star they're a little bit smaller cherry it's almost like a canning cherry or a cherry that you would get for like uh, cocktails or something in your drink really really uh, sour but sweet and sour flavor to these ones and when they get really red they're a little bit more sweet and you can see on the tree we still even have a few that are ripening up now cherries they have to ripen on the tree you can't ripen them off the tree you can't pick them when they're you know not ripe and then expect them to get ripe on the counter you have to actually let them ripen on the tree so problem with that is the birds will come and they'll start eating them and then you'll come out here to pick them and you'll see pits like this you go what the heck happened it, the bird had ate the cherry and they just left the pit you really when it's a small tree like this you want to get a net and cover them up I, I didn't do it this year because we got so many cicadas I think the birds are a bit annoyed so they're not even coming over to eat the fruit this year okay this one we have a Macintosh it's a semi dwarf Macintosh I believe this gets up to 10 to 15 feet tall and this year you can see I got a lot of Macintosh growing. Again, we're, we're at the end of May. They're not ripe. These won't ripen up to a couple more uh, months. And this tree is, I believe it's two years old, about two to three years old when I planted it. But this year it's given off quite a bit of apples. You can see there's look, one, two, three, four, five, six apples just on this one branch. Let's go check out some more trees I got in the back. All right, over here. Come over here. I got a Mutsu apple tree. Mutsu. And this tree, it gave me only one apple last year. It's about two years old, maybe three. I can't remember when I exactly put it in there. I think it's two summers that it's, it's had. So this will be the third year. Um, it's kind of small. I put it in a little bit of a shady spot here so it doesn't get the early morning. But this year I got a few apples. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, maybe about a dozen apples on this little tree. Again, it's two to three years old. It's about eight foot tall. And uh, just check out over here. I got a, another tree that I planted about two years ago. This is called a methylene plum. Now, I haven't got any plums off this yet because the frost killed them this winter. Uh, sometimes in spring here, we'll get a frost that comes in in April, May, or not May, but uh, February or March. Sometimes April will get a frost and it will kill the flowers. There's a cicada, get those off there. But it's about, uh, I'd say seven foot tall, but it's, it's growing good. I can't wait to try the plums on this tree, but the methylene trees, they take a little longer to uh, produce. Maybe three to four years, you'll start getting fruit out of them. And I'm on my third summer and I don't got nothing. So hopefully next year, let's move on to the next tree. All right, here I got a June Prince. June Prince peach tree, sorry, the cicadas, and I keep getting them out of there. Because uh, cicadas will lay the eggs on the branches and you don't want that. So this is a uh, June Prince. It's supposed to be, you know, around this time I should have peaches already, but because of the frost, it killed all my peach trees this year. And I have about four or five peach trees. But anyways, this is June Prince. I planted it last year. Uh, it's about six and a half feet tall. So, Hopefully next year we get some, but probably out of 15 years here, you'll maybe half of those years you'll get peaches. 
that's the June Prince. Over here we got a Rustin, Rustin Red Peach. Okay, this one's a little bit taller, about eight foot tall. And again, no peaches, but that's how it looks. It's, I believe, two years old. And let's go to the next tree. This is an Ayers pear. Now Ayers pear for Illinois is a great tree because uh, it always gives you fruit. And this Ayers pear is like a, when it's ripe, it turns red and it's pretty tasty. And you can see, it's, I believe I planted this about four years ago, maybe five, and it's about 10 to 12 feet high. Ayers pear, really good pear. Next one is another, uh, actually this is a nectarine, which is in the peach family. And I don't have anything, but you can see it's about five years old and it's a good, I don't know, 15 to 20 feet tall after four to five years. But again, the flowers, they died in the frost when we had flowers. Next tree, same thing. This thing over here is a uh, red skin peach. Red skin peach is about 15 feet tall, but no peaches this year, but it's a pretty strong tree. Grows really fast, same with the nectarine. And over here I got two grapes. I got a, a white table, white and a red grape tree over here. Or vine, I should say, not tree. All right, next tree I got is a Morris plum. Morris plum is a really good tree for out here because it produces fruit like right away. As soon as I planted this, I had fruit that year and I've had fruit ever since, except for I believe one year was kind of not so great. But this year I have quite a bit. It's a nice purpley red, uh, plum tastes really sweet when it's ripe and you can see over here uh, This one's I believe is about five years old and you can see the plums. They're growing all over the place Check that out. There's a plum there Plum there, so it's probably gonna take another 30 days Probably by the end of July these will be ripe and you want to pick them before the squirrels get to them because the squirrels will eat them one that one I think two years ago it was loaded with plums. I picked a few but those squirrels, they got to them the next day and I didn't have none. So when they start turning red, go in and take them off, they'll actually ripen off of the tree. So as soon as they start turning a little bit of red, get them off before the squirrels get to them. Yeah, it's a really good, healthy tree. You can see these ones are all, these all dropped when they were green and look, they're ripening on the floor. But those are too small to eat, they'd be sour. All right, so the next tree actually was planted here when I moved in two trees here, the next two trees. And one is uh, some kind of a pear tree. I'm not sure what type of pear, but it's a small green pear. Uh, it might be a kefir pear, but I'm not sure. It could be a Bartlett. And it's this tree over here. I don't know how old it is. It's probably 15 years old, but it's still producing fruit. And it's loaded when it's got pears. You can see over here um, what they look like. Uh, let me find something about right here. That's what it looks like, okay? But these won't ripen for another month or so. All right, and the next tree after that, it's a Granny Smith apple tree, this tree right here. Same thing, it's about 20 years old, 15 to 20 years old, and it's still giving fruit, and it's perfectly healthy. So I'm glad this was here when I bought the property. And the next tree here, it's a called a Royal Ann Cherry. Now this one I planted four to five years ago, and look at it, it's already about 15 to 20 feet tall and I think that's about as tall as they get But this had the really nice yellow cherries. It's yellow with red Let me show you what they look like because I just picked some so here's the royal ant tree That's what they gave us Less than a dozen this year, which is kind of poor, but again, this tree's only four to five years old It's got the height, but I think the frost got to them now. These are really sweet This is sweeter than the Stella tree and they're really nice cherries. Get kind of big. They're a little smaller than the Stella's, but they're really good. And you can see the North Star next to them. They're quite bigger than that. All right, so I got four more trees out here in the back back of my property. And uh, three of them I just planted about two years ago and one was about three, four years ago. So let's check them out. So over here, the first tree, again, this is only the second or third season, and it's a pear, it's a Bartlett pear. You can see the Bartlett pears on there, some up here, which is going to be a big pear, 
but you can see the tree is not really that big so it's kind of small but it's fairly young and the next tree is uh it's an apple tree i'm not sure because when i bought it it didn't say what kind of apple it was but this year all the flowers died during the frost so there's no apples sometimes the apples are biannual last year i had a lot of apples on here and this year i don't have any but when they did ripen they were like a reddish kind of like a fuji apple i know it's not a fuji apple but it's it's like a a honey crisp i want to say like a, a greenish red apple really really good really sweet and the next tree is another peach but this peach it's it's been here for four or five years and it's never given any fruit for us from from it again we live in a cold climate here and when those things flower half the time they just die and again last tree over on my property is this uh, peach tree i'm not sure which type of peach it is because when i bought it it just said peach but this one's uh two seasons maybe this is the third season and it's about I don't know seven feet tall but again there's nothing on it I kind of regret buying peach trees here if I would have known that they were so hard to get the peaches I probably would have got more apples and plums instead of these peaches because I got one two three four five six peach trees which one of them is a nectaring and I haven't had any to eat off that so I might have to cut them down and start over with apples pears and cherries and plums so I'm about 1.2 acres of land here you can see over here every year we plant tomato plants or ch and chilies and zucchinis out here so you can see the land goes out to about where that fence is so we got this land here to plant whatever we want to get in the dirt but yeah that's my trees all right so that's 18 trees fruit trees on my property that i got two of them were here already so i planted 16 of them again I got about six peach trees I wish I would have planted more plums and cherries and other things other than the peaches I don't think I'll ever plant another peach or nectarine tree here I'm thinking of an apricot but I can't ever find any at the stores but yeah other than that uh, pears do really good in Illinois apples do really good and the cherries do really pretty good not the best but you can see I just harvested, harvested the North Stars and the Royal Ants, and it's, it's not a lot, but you know, it's better than nothing, and they're fairly young trees. So I hope you like this video. That's it. This is Jacob at the, the Home Fixer channel. Catch you on the next video. All right, so we're going to try these uh, Royal Ant cherries for the first time. Me and my uh, two kids here. So on three, one, two, three, everybody go. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's sweet. I like to put the whole peat or the whole cherry in my mouth and then just spit out the pit. It's really good. Let's see what it looks like. Mm. Well, it's fleshy, it's very, yellow flesh inside. Very juicy too. Mm -hmm. Good? Yeah, it's really good. All right, now we're going to try the North Star cherry, which is a lot smaller. For me, this is a cherry that you would put like in a cocktail drink or something. So, I'll... okay, usually it's a bit bitter. But this one was pretty ripe, so it was actually uh, tarty and sweet. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. You're sweet? What about you? It was a uh, uh, tarty. Tarty? Tarty like you? Tarty. It was tarty like him, so yeah.